All right. Welcome back to another episode of Nowhere Island. Sara Sara, I'm going to get back. Nowhere Island. Nowhere Island. I'm about to have an hour weird dream. That's too sophisticated, Nowhere Island. That's too sophisticated for my brain, Nagin. Nagin particles. A uh, general term for particles that move faster than speed of light. Of course, said that faster than light travel is impossible. Consider the relation between how an object moves and said object's energy. Energy is needed, to, needed in order for any object to move. But the greater its velocity, the more energy is required. Say it takes an object 10 units of energy to move at a velocity of 10. It doesn't then follow that it would take 20 units of energy for it to move at a velocity of 20. The energy required is actually equal to the velocity squared. In this case, the object's velocity would be approximately 14. Let's say, for example, that an object's velocity increases tenfold when you apply 100 units of energy, and that increases 100 fold when you apply 10,000 units of energy. The speed of the object would continue to increase in the same fashion as more and more energy was applied, until finally its velocity exceeded the speed of light. Why then does everyone claim that faster than light travel is impossible? That's because the energy required is also dependent on the object's mass. The amount of force required to move a heavy object is greater than it is for a lighter one. As I'm sure everyone knows from experience. And it should go without saying that it takes double the amount of force to move an object that's double the weight. That doesn't change the fact that the object's velocity will increase so long as energy continues to be applied to it. But, according to the theory of relativity, the mass of an object changes depending on its velocity. The closer an object is to light speed, the more its mass increases, and the moment it reaches light speed, its mass becomes infinite, infinitely, infinitely large. To move an object with the infinite mass, you would need an infinite, infinite amount of energy as well. And it's for this reason that people conclude that faster than light travel is impossible. But herein lies the trick. That object increases in mass as the move is a conclusion drawn from external observation. How would you go about measuring the mass of a moving object though? There's no way to place a moving object on a set of scales. Through observation, you estimate the mass of a given object based on its acceleration, caused in turn by the fact that X amount of energy being applied to it. Fast? Of course you are. That's because this is clearly circular reasoning. When discussing whether or not the application of enough energy might cause an object to reach light speed, deriving said object's mass from the change in velocity is pointless. I'll have confirmed this the hypothesis that acceler acceleration is made harder the closer that an object is to light speed. The theory of relativity explains this phenomenon as an increase of mass. It's merely a means of conforming it to our present understanding of physics. The proposition that reaching light speed is possible to the problem of infinite mass is by no means a matter of certitude. But as long as the object's acceleration is made harder by the velocity at which it's traveling, it's inevitable that the energy driving it is going to disappear. So where does the energy disappear to? The answer is simple. It disappears into the fourth dimension. At this point, might be mad at me for pulling your leg, but that's not what I'm doing, I assure you. I'm dead serious. The first dimension is linear. The second is a flat plane. The, the third is space. With the addition of a fourth axis, that of time, you then get four-dimensional space-time. Even if everything appears stationary in three-dimensional space, it continues to move into fourth dimension. The passage of time in layman's terms. Now then, there's a phenomenon in which the passage of time itself slows the 
closer an object is to light speed. You don't need to you don't need me to explain any further, right? It's called the Urashima effect. Looking again at the same phenomenon through through a four-dimensional lens, you might also describe it as the slowing of movement along the time axis. Just as energy is necessary to make an object accelerate, energy is also needed to make an object dec de decelerate. That's right. The energy which appears to disappear is, in fact, expanded in the fourth dimension to slow the object's movement. Now, having solved that mystery, let's consider let's consider what happens if we continue applying energy to that object. Unfortunately, it won't reach light speed no matter how much energy we apply to it. You would need an infinite amount of energy to reduce its speed along the time axis to zero. And there's a limit to how much energy originally devoted to acceleration through three-dimensional space can be converted into energy for controlling a movement along the time axis. There's no limit though on how much energy you can apply directly to the object's movement through time. This is where tachyons finally come in. Normal objects that move positively along the time axis. Even light, which has a value of zero, doesn't necessarily cross over into negative values. Tachyon particles, however, have a greater momentum than the speed of light and are thought to proceed negatively along the time axis. It then becomes possible using the energy contained and obtained from tachyons to reverse an object's movement along the time axis, enabling faster than light travel. Oops, we're back to circular reasoning. When discussing the possibility of faster than light travel, dragging faster than light particles, tachyons, into the equation introduces a logical, logical contradiction. Then again, the question of whether or not tachyons exist holds no water in this discussion either. Without any evidence of where tachyons come from, you end up falling into the trap of circular, reason, circular reasoning one way or another. Or would the better term in this case be infinite regress? Or perhaps what circular what circular circular? What's like an infinite regress is the universe itself. From higher dimensions you might see that the axis of time distorts and interconnects lacking beginning or end. Even tachyons, which would appear to us to move negatively along the time axis, might be moving forward in time from their perspective. In that case, all we can do, resetting in the third dimension, is go with the flow of time, or resist it and wait things out. But are those two choices really enough? After all, there are only two paths out of the present, the future and the past. As for which we'll pick, the choice is in our hands. What's wrong? What are you, what are you doing? What happened? Bitter batter, bitter batter. What? Oh, what's up, Renan? When I look up, uh, when I look to see what's causing the ruckus, I find Renette dashing back and forth across the kitchen. Sorry, Oh, I'll give you a ha. No need to be a dick. Wow, that came out of nowhere. ね、今日はもういい。一食くらい抜いてもどうということはない。ダメだよ。おじいちゃんももう年なんだからちゃんと栄養取らないと。はい、ダメだ。うん。まだ could have just said that you liked it, come on! Ah, Mada Setsna Kare no Kotter! Kore de Ika! Hi, Ovento! 
and the one reluctantly steps up security filled lunchbox that thrusts upon him. I'm really sorry. しらじらしいことを毎晩二人でこそこそと出かけとるくせにあれほら早く行かないと遅刻しちゃうよいってらっしゃい今日も頑張ってねまったくなるわん、looking it's hard not to believe that, honestly. <laughs> With that, he leaves. What's scary is that it doesn't sound like him, like, like, he, like he was joking. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. I don't know, I'll leave fun as long as I don't put her in danger. Anyway, our nightly outings were totally obvious, it seems. Well, parents are more vigilant with their children than you do expect. But he hasn't found out that we sleep in the same bed yet. Right? Hey, Renee, you, you can tell Nirwan, can't you? About what you're trying to do. Demo. Look, you need a massive battery, right? Nirwan works at the power plant. If you can get him to help, you can fix your problem easy. I mean, it's not just him. Everyone here would lend a hand if she gave them a proper explanation. Oh. Hmm. But Rina just looks at me concernedly. That's an unusually pessimistic thing for Rina to say. I believe you. That I am. Weird. Me. Well, it's true. I might not have believed if she didn't. Got it. Our little secret. A single lifeline. A means of saving this world. If we're not careful, whatever we tell, we might try to get in our way. Or use that information for nefarious purposes. But it looks like I'm the only one worrying, worrying about that kind of stuff. That's the face of someone who only sees the best in ours. Don't sweat it. And by the way, you're not running out of food because of me, are you? Oh, my long awaited ration day has finally come. Ration. 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 What am I so over the moon about? Well, I'll finally be able to shed this life of poverty for one. Hey, oh, you can get candy too? Ooh, Chaco. You're definitely still just a kid if you're, if you're getting excited about candy. Oh, I'm candy. Oh, I thought you'd do the night. Then you don't need candy. Why don't I swap it for some bread? Well, let's just leave it at that for now. Oh, I know. I remember the, I remember all too well. A young lady who do get just as enthused about shaved eyes. But the fact that I can't remember her smile means we never got to eat it in the end back then. I hope you'll get your candy. I gave her beheaded head a good old rub. And as always, when it beams contentedly. If only we do been able to have that shaved eyes without a hitch. If only we do been able to live out a peaceful life after that. I might have even had a kid like you. Oh, sorry. I'm sure any kid of mine would be all kinds of twisted. 
Don't get so mad. It was just a joke. 冗談だったら何でも許されると思ったら大間違いだよ。Hmm, I messed up. Oh, I almost forgot. You can buy condiments around here, right? Hmm, 雑貨屋さんにたまに入荷してるよ。Then I'll make something tasty for you tonight. That's an apology. 本当 ？Yeah, you betcha. The problem is getting the ingredients. All my money is with Karen. Ever since she snatched it out of my hands. So my current balance is well zero. Of course, I'll get paid if I do a day's work like usual, but. じゃあ約束。The nurse sticks her little finger out at me. I promise. さ、せつの忘れっぽいからこうやってちゃんと約束しとかなきゃ。I extend my own little finger just as instructed. That's when a sudden thought flashes through my mind. We did still be together, even after that. I wonder if that promise from back then still stands even now, or has it expired? I left on a journey to fulfill my promise to her, but suddenly I feel like I've come a long, long way. You be kiri ken na, uso tsui tara hari sen bo no masu. What a big swear! A thousand meals wasn't enough. God is an old rhyme. You be kita. But I'm sure that that was you. But I'm sure there's actually a second part of that to that rhyme. The old maker sand does the big swear rhymed. You're punished for breaking the promise. But if you die, you're free. So the promise to be together even in death might have been invalid to begin with. Although. I'm still living my life, aren't I? I'm sure the promise is still in effect. Right, I'll make sure to wrap things up quickly today and head straight back. Set up with a smile from Rene, I begin climbing the stairs. I recall my feet feeling laden as I went to work the other day. It's not just work that awaits me today, though. The secret of this world, the wish that church holds the key. And Sarah, who clung weeping to me the other day, but I made a promise, and that promise isn't a weight on my shoulders. It's a force which propels me forward. So all I have to do is keep moving. With that resolve, I step boldly into the church. But Sarah is nowhere to be found. When I ask one of the women passing by, it seems like she shuts herself in the room, with no intention of coming out. Can't blame her, I guess. It's not like I can go wandering into the women's quarters, and I'm not so carefree as to just idle about here. I decided I decided to ask the guard if I can help out with some security work for the church instead. Security doesn't mean that apprehending terrorists or fighting insurgents, however. Their work simply involves making regular patrols at the church's per 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 perimeter. And even that's not much of a job. But to be quite honest, the disdainful glares that you sometimes get from regular citizens can be quite painful. Oh, it's kind of a coming off over here. One of the guards told me he casually carries a weapon as a form of deterrence. The whatever sky is kind of breaking off. But I'm not allowed to. Since I'm not officially a guard, having to lug something like that around would just slow me down. To down anyway, it's better than I am unarmed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to glean any more information about the exploration team other than what Cotton already told me. But I learned quite a bit about the church's conflict with Avalon in the past. The guard I spoke to had been working for the church since those days. The story he told me made me want to pluck my ears. I wasn't really able to picture it when he told me how the alleys were piled, but piled high with bodies. Finding a dead body was still somewhat of a good thing, since so many people just went missing, never, never to be found. It may sound nice being able to cling to those to, to, to the hope that they're still out there alive, somewhere. But that couldn't be further from the truth. 
Hope can be surprisingly fragile. Three days without food, and you lose the strength to stand. You're no longer able to open your eyes after a week. Slowly but surely, hope vanishes. Before you know it, it's gone. But that doesn't mean there's no getting back on your feet. 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 What's up with my reading? My reading. Oh my god. It's me trying to correct my brain remembering. <laughs> About the uh, novel. Gosh. Hope returns. Grows back. But for that, you need time. And a mind bob going amount of it to death. I'm sure the people of this island are waiting for that time to come. And I'm sure Sarah is no exception. I'm so bored. And so hungry. I have too much time on my hands. Now that I've finished making my rounds and arrived back at the church. Despite my efforts to gather intel on Sarah and the church, everyone's busy. The guards have dis disappeared due to, due to some urgent business. Huh? I spy a girl walking past, hands full of bags. Right, I'll go flirt a bit while pretending to help. I mean, I resume my inquiries. You seem to be having some trouble. Why are you taking all of this? Wait, she's. Hello there! God! It's that ring leader herself! Why are you taking all those bags? Ah, uh, it's okay. If we're talking about yesterday, that didn't bar me. Her dad bobs up and down at high speed. To the point she smiles. Um, people seem to be crowding around us. Uh, okay, well, if we're going to have this conversation, I think we should move uh, someplace else. <laughs> oh, come again? You overslept? Um, so the reason didn't come out of your room this morning is because... <laughs> then what about yesterday in the lift? Sarah's eyes dart around and she gazes off to one side. <laughs> what the hell? God. <laughs> the hell? Yes, I do. You were the one who made the moves on, moves on me. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Why are you making me do so? I guess it might have been my fault. You know, for seeing stuff that could have could have been misunderstood. Okay, I'm not going to get her weirdly stubborn attitude. I'm not going to get her weirdly stubborn attitude. I'm not going to get her weirdly stubborn attitude. God, just throw that sketchy book in the trash already. Ugh, I think that's it for my blood sugar. Then don't you dare to suggest me corn! No corn. Sort of. That's good. I'm going to Sarah opens up one of her bags to show me what's inside. It's packed full of, full of sandwiches. Corn-tastic. Wait, are all of these packed with sandwiches? I feel... Oh well, I might as well be thankful for them since she's offering. Hmm? There's 50% more corn in this sandwich than usual. Did you make these for them? Yes. I'm going to make them for my experience. I'm going to make them for I see. So that's the response. Of course. I know that I'm not going to do it. But... I can't do it. Even if she's attacked for being a hypocrite, huh? Can you help me with that? I'm going to take care of her. Yeah, of course. It makes me wonder just how long it took her to make all these sandwiches. Oh. So that's why she overslept. 
Jeez, just how the water this him. Now there is one thing I want to get straightened out first. Hi, what is it? It's really nerve wracking being put on the spot. There's no sense in chickening out and changing the subject. It might be excusable during peace time, but right now we're in no position to act like a couple. Wait, that's chickening out, chicken out, chickening out too. Like, regardless of the world we live in, there is one thing I'm unwilling to concede. I made a promise. I can't be romantically involved with you. I made a wish, sure. I wish that I could change. That still holds true. But that doesn't mean I want to forget the past. So I'm sorry. I can't support you. Did I get that wrong idea? I told you I... Hey...死者は人を支えてはくれません。屍は荷物にしかなりません。荷物を捨てろとは言いません。過去を忘れろとは言いません。わかっています。捨てようとして捨てられるものではないことは、忘れようとして忘れられるものではないことは。ですが、だからこそ
It feels somewhat strange to have it unbound in so long. I'm returning this. I can't bear the fact that my possession of it brings back painful memories for you. Doing so means that I'll no longer be able to receive rations or get a job. But that's perfect. It means I don't have to show my face at her anymore. After the day, the fake Setson I will vanish before Sarah. Once and for all. <laughs> Sarah? Sarah doesn't reach out to detect a color. Instead, she kneels down and practically putting her forehead to her knees. すみませんでした。あなたのおっしゃる通りです。私はあなたにあの人の姿を重ね合わせて脅迫地見たことまでして、あなたにあの人を演じさせようと。ウォーディア、I I don't know what situation she was faced with, but if your hands are tainted, then what does that make mine? What does that make me, a man who lied, cheated, defiled his body and soul, then took her life in the end? Want to die together? It's just a straight drop down to hell from here. It would be extremely simple. But there's no point doing that if it's easy. You wouldn't be able to forgive yourself if you did that, right? People are reborn. If that's true, then the crimes you've committed will gnaw uh, now at your flesh again and again, from one life to the next, until the time comes when you're able to forgive yourself. Until the time comes when you're able to love yourself. All you can do is fulfill your promise. The promise you weren't able to that day. <laughs> One you made with Setsuna, to save everyone on the island. Hi. It was your dream, right? Yours and Setsuna's. Hi. Then make it happen until your last breath. I plan to do the same. I place my color on her lap, then turn her away. It does. I turn over a new leaf. But I'm already used to that. No matter how treacherous my path, Ah, sorry about that. No matter how it retrocedes my path, I'll keep on walking. As long as a path lies ahead, even if it's just a tight rope. So it finally comes. I scratch my head, turning around. I find Sarah standing there. The limbs of her eyes still glistening with tears. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I've always gone by Setsuna. Sarah blinks a few times as if to fan the tears away. She presents the color to me with both hands. Now we're island. Not a shit again! Mm -hmm.